What is good, YouTube gang? It's your boy Trey, and we're back. Well, banger, y'all. Today, y'all gonna be talking about how to break free from the Jezebel spirit and how to heal from it as well. And so, without I do, man, make sure y'all like, follow, comment, and subscribe all for more bangers, man. And I do, man, let's get into the video, man. So, how to break free and heal from Jezebel. Now, Jezebel is, whoo, she's a very, 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 very wicked woman. But today, we're gonna be talking about how to heal and break free from her. So the first way about how to break free and heal from her is praying. Now, praying is very crucial because when we pray, we're breaking things off in the realm of the spirit. We're breaking things off in our life. And prayer is very crucial. So praying is one way we can break free from Jezebel. Praying in the spirit, praying in tongues, 30 minutes to an hour a day is, very, is another way we can break free from Jezebel. <laughs> Because again, it, 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 because you know, we can build up our spirit, man. And when we build up our spirit, man, we won't be attracted to Jezebel, we won't be attracted to Delilah, we won't, we won't, we won't be attracted to the uh, so that's one way we can break free. It's because prayer is really, really, really important in this walk with Christ. Because you know, when we pray, we, we, we grow in our faith, we grow in our walk daily. When we pray, we do things that are we we we, we just look different and we. We are different when we pray. So prayer is very, very, very crucial in this walk with Christ. The next thing is reading the word. Um, reading the word. So the way you should can read the word is read up to one, three, five, ten chapters a day. And by doing that, you're filling your mind with the word of God. And if, hey, hey, you can study ten chapters a day, man. Just filling your mind with the word of God and renewing your mind with the word of God brings deliverance or brings healing. And you also break free from Jezebel that way. So 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 you won't have to, you know, you, you renew your mind. And when you and when you renew your mind, you defeat Jezebel just by reading the word, reading one chapter a day. Like wake up and read the word of God. Listen to the word of God. You know, pray the scriptures. You know. It's very helpful. You can also do it like a person Bible said as well, because it's very it's very helpful, man. It's very helpful. It's very helpful because when we read the word of God, it changes our life, it changes our mind. You know, these things help. You know, fasting. Number three, fasting. Fasting helps because it helps your physical health and it, and it will give you prayer, power, and strength over Jezebel. Fasting can change your life because fasting not only helps physically, but it helps mentally, helps spiritually as well. Fasting has the power to, to, to break addictions, to change your life. Fasting and prayer and reading the word can change your life because <laughs> fasting is very crucial in your life with Christ. Whether you realize it or not, you have to crucify and deny the flesh daily. Because when we fast, we're just we're, we're doing different. We're we're, we're 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 being different and we're making a sacrifice to God. Number four, friendships. Friendships. Just about like friendship. Just about makes you feel like a victim in friendships. Jezebel controls, manipulates you in friendships. Jezebel will make you feel like a victim and a Je Je Jezebel, well, hold on. Jezebel will make the other person feel like a victim. Let me get that right. Jezebel will make the other person feel like a victim. So, so meaning, when the other person did you wrong, she'll make herself, she'll make herself feel like the victim and she'll act like, all innocent, like she didn't do anything, but in reality, you're the victim. Jezebel never changes. She stays the same. Jezebel never repents. She stays the same. Jezebel shows no signs of repentance, no signs of deliverance, no signs of healing, no signs of change. Jezebel always comes and manipulates his decisions. He does the same things over and over again. Because Jezebel, Jezebel's goal is to ruin and it's to kill and it's, and, it, and it's to hurt your life. So Jezebel truly hates you. Jezebel truly wants to destroy you. Jezebel truly does not like you. Jezebel has one task, and that task is to hate you. That and that task is to hurt you. That task is to destroy you. Jezebel's task is to ruin your life. And in Jezebelic friendships, Jezebel is always a controller. She's always a manipulator. She's always deceiving. And ways we can heal and break free from these friendships is just seeking the Lord and creating that intimacy with God. It's, you know, it's healing. It's um, focusing on the Lord. Uh, and, you know, when we create that friendship, that bond with God, we won't have these problems. You know, right? no, I didn't. But, the, yeah, these are the four ways we can break freaking heal from Jezebel because Jezebel is a... 
Satanic spirit that is definitely ruining people in the body of Christ now, and it is definitely in the church. Um, but Jezebel is very powerful, and it can ruin, and it can and it can destroy our lives. Jezebel destroys your life if you don't take action. Like because Jezebel has. I was distracted. My parents came home. But Jezebel, she has one task, and that task is to destroy your life. That task is to seduce you all your life. And so y'all, always just, you know, know that if you've been manipulated, if you've been controlled, if you've been deceived, if you've been tricked by Jezebel, know that there's a way out. Know that there's a way out because God provides your way out of the way in the way out of the fiend just blessed by fasting is by prayer consistent fasting consistent prayer and reading the word filling your mind up with the word of god daily so if you have to read 10 chapters a day do that if you have to read five three five ten do that and study the words as well staying the word helps as well but we have to go deeper in the Lord in these days, man, because Jezebel is a destroyer. She likes to destroy. She steals. She kills. She destroys. And she acts innocent like she didn't do anything. Jezebel does not change. She doesn't say anything over and over again. The ways we can heal and break free from Jezebel is it, it's, it's by prayer, reading the word, fasting, and, and, and surrounding yourself around godly friendship, godly company, man. So what I do, man. That's what we're doing, man. Y'all like, follow, comment, and subscribe. All for more greatness, man. Because Jezebel, man, she is a witch. She's an evil, wicked witch, man. Jezebel does not like you. Jezebel hates you with the passion, man. So, man, y'all, get the... Jezebel's a witch, man. She does not like you, bro. She comes to kill. She's in the short, man. So, y'all do, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. More bangers coming y'all's way, man. Y'all look all best day, man. Peace. Wait! Don't leave yet. What's up, guys? Here's my side news. I am now a sponsored athlete for Underdog Clothing Brand, guys. So, guys, you know, they have some nice clothes, nice shirts. That's a nice, that's a nice accessories, man. That's a nice... um. Sports accessories, they have some nice clothes for women as well. Um, not, not just men, women too as well. And, 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 and you know, they, they, they have some nice stuff, guys. So, so you know, make sure y'all shop there, man. Just it, just shop there. The Lord puts it on your heart to shop there, man. And also, guys, if you, if you use my code Jesus save, you get 15% off, guys. So, guys, make, make sure you do that as well, guys. To the Lord lead you to, guys. And also, as well, guys, I'm now, I'm, I'm, I'm also a, um, I'm also a, um, ambassador for Seek Jesus as well. I've been ambassador actually for a year and a half. I just never, I never obeyed the Lord and I never, I never listened to him. But, um, I repent for that. <laughs> I repent for that, Lord. I'm sorry, God. But, you know, guys, let's expand the kingdom. There's too many demonic clothing brands out here. Let's expand the kingdom of God through clothing. Let's let let's wear more Jesus clothing and let's show let's let's show let let us show the unbelievers. Let's show the unbelievers that it's cool to be a Christian because our goal is to save souls for for Jesus Christ. So all info, all info will be will be down in the, in the description below, guys. But also for Jesus, also for seek Jesus. If if you, if you use my code, homie Trey, you, you get fifty percent off, guys. So guys, you know the Lord leads you to shop there, man. Shop there, bro, and just you know, just just you know, let's expand the the kingdom of God through clothing. Y'all have a God bless day, man, and peace.